symbols are used by Masonic lodges, witch covens, Satanists, and alchemists to directly access parts of the brain which respond to strong shapes and colors. Just as the saying goes, a picture paints a thousand words, so magical symbols can be used to convey a multi-layered message or command. The use of symbols to convey the desire or will of the magician is generally referred to as sigil magic. To make a magical sigil, you first write down your desire or spell. You then remove all vowels and all repeating consonant letters. You then rearrange the remaining letters into an easily remembered symbol. This symbol or sigil contains the original spell. Sigils are often found in company logos. Every time you watch television, visit the supermarket, or walk the street, your subconscious is bombarded with sigils. In fact, you are living in one giant sigil. And it was based on the idea of, uh, if you look at cave art, the first art was done, the first writing was done basically as art. And if someone wanted to make something happen, like if you were in the, if you were some like fucked up caveman in a cave somewhere moaning about the, your dinner, what do you do? You draw a bison on the wall, stick some spears in it, go out, and the bison dies filled with spears. And it's, hey man, <laughs> we can make this happen. Slowly those things become letters, they become words, they become reduced to abstractions, complexes of meaning. And you can take that basic idea, and as we've seen, people like Austin Osmond Spear, the magician from the early part of the century, or Crowley, or the Chaos magicians from the 80s, who were a big inspiration on me, they used this stuff. And what you can do is this, like I say, try this at home. Write in a desire. Quite simple, say, it is my desire that uh, you know, my cat wins the Olympics. <laughs> take it all the vowels. Right, write this down for fuck's sake and do it. Don't just listen, do it, right. Take out the vowels and you'll be left with a string of consonants. Take out the repeated consonants and you'll be left with a string of consonants that have no repeats in it, you know, whatever, X, Y, A, D, whatever. Turn that thing into a little image. Take the D, draw a big D, then you've got a T, draw a T under it and keep reducing it down until it looks magical. And there are no rules for this thing. Do it until it looks magical. At that point, you now have a sigil. The sigil will work. You can project desire into reality and change reality. It works. <laughs>
delighted to present my latest book, In Defense of Israel. This book will expose the sins of the fathers and the vicious abuse of the Jewish people. In Defense of Israel will shape Christian theology. It scripturally proves that the Jewish people as a whole did not reject Jesus as Messiah. It will also prove that Jesus did not come to earth to be the Messiah. Jesus did not come to earth to be the Messiah. 